What if we told you that you could watch unlimited movies in the theater for the price of one ticket? For all the theater buffs out there, this would be a dream come true. Uh, but that's all it would be, right? A dream. Because how could something like this even be possible? Well, one company dared to make it possible. Movie Pass. Wondering how it managed to make money? It didn't. It dared to dream, but crash landed. But now it's back again. So let's take you through the theatrical journey of Movie Pass. Welcome back to Revolution Read On, a daily podcast where we break down one story from the world of business and finance. Here's your story for today. The company launched in 2012 with a revolutionary idea to make movies more affordable for Americans. You see, movie prices at the time were pretty high and for the cost of one ticket, around 8 to $10, Americans could get a monthly subscription of Netflix or any other streaming service and get access to unlimited content. So, MoviePass decided to launch a subscription service that would allow people to watch more movies at a lesser cost, bringing more people back to the theatre. Initially, its subscription service was pretty reasonably priced, around $24.99 to $39.99 US dollars. And for this price, you would get one movie ticket per day. So, almost 30 movies at the cost of 4 to 5 movies. Customers were overjoyed with this. But MoviePass couldn't make profits. You see, the company had initially thought people would treat this subscription like a gym subscription. Most people pay for the full year, but hardly any use it. Here's where MoviePass made a blunder. It didn't understand customer behavior. And MoviePass was close to bankruptcy as it was losing money on each subscriber. But a miracle happened in December 2017. It was acquired by data analytics firm Helios and Matheson. They had the brilliant idea that they could leverage MoviePass's data to better understand the theatre industry. For this, they needed to acquire a large consumer base. So, they further reduced subscription prices. Yep, you heard that right. They reduced subscription prices to around $9.95 US dollars a month, which was the price of one movie ticket. Customers were overjoyed, but industry experts said the company was doomed to fail. And one of the world's biggest theatre chains agreed, AMC. AMC barred the use of MoviePass from its theatres, saying its model was setting up customers for disappointment. Why did AMC care? MoviePass was paying it the full price for tickets, so its unsustainable business model shouldn't have bothered AMC. Because... AMC was farsighted. It saw that if MoviePass amassed a huge following, it would leverage it to get theatres to reduce their prices. This and the fact that it was already bleeding an insane amount of money, 146.7 million US dollars in 2018 alone, led the company to go bankrupt again. It shut down for good in 2019. So, you see, a great idea that would have benefited customers immensely didn't work out just because the company didn't understand the economics of the business and consumer behavior. Like Amazon, it wanted to play the long game. Acquire a huge customer base first and then leverage it whichever way possible. But not every company is Amazon. And one of the biggest mistakes that MoviePass made was antagonizing theatres. Instead, if it had partnered with them, it would be a win-win for both parties. Instead of just offering consumers an unlimited amount of movies, it could have worked with theatres to give deals that worked out for both of them, like free refills for popcorns or drinks. It could have even leveraged its data to give theatres better insights on how to improve the theatre-going experience. And in turn, it could have gotten a commission from them. The possibilities were endless. But all hope is not lost. One of MoviePass's co-founders, Stacey Spikes, has once again bought the company and announced that it will be relaunching in the summer. They've got a second chance. 
and times have changed. Movie theatres this time need it as much as it needs them. In fact, it has already partnered with two theatres. This time, Movie Pass won't offer dirt cheap movie tickets. It has already announced that there will be a tier based subscription model where customers will buy credits and redeem them to watch movies. It has also introduced another way to earn credits by watching ads. But you can't just let these ads play. Movie Pass will track your eyeballs and make sure you're watching these ads. That's not all. The company will be built on a Web3 platform to ensure that too much traffic does not overwhelm them. And it also wants to enter the metaverse. Will Movie Pass finally be successful? Or will history repeat itself? Only time will tell. And that's your story for today. Thanks for listening in. We'll be back tomorrow.